In this video, we'll see how to import contacts from Gmail account to your Outlook account itself. Let us see that. Now what I've done is I have created a Gmail account and I'll show you that Gmail account. I have few contacts in that Gmail. From that Gmail, I'll try to bring contacts into this training.tutorials at gmail.com. Let us see that. So I'll just open the browser and I'll show you the contacts. First of all, I'll show you the email ID. The email ID is pavanbusiness10 at gmail.com and right now I've created it. So it's totally blank. There are no emails, but I'll show you the contacts which I have created here. So I'll just click on this Gmail and then I'll click on this contacts. Yeah, if you see there are three contacts, Anthony, John and Ronnie and three email IDs I have written here and this one contact number which is given that is written here. Now, if I want to export this to the Outlook, what are, what are the steps here? So first thing is I need to click on this more option on the left hand side and then I can click on this export option. So if I click on export, it says this is the preview version. It cannot be done in this version. So you have to use this preview version of Google contacts doesn't support exporting yet. To export your contacts now, go to the old Google contacts. So I can just go to this old Google contacts. These are my old Google contacts which will be visible. And from here I can, I can export to the Outlook. So how do I export it? Again, I'll click on this more option and I'll say as export. It says which contacts do you want to export? So I'll say I want this group, my contacts, which are three contacts which are given. Which export format do you want? Google CSV or Outlook CSV? So mine should be the Outlook CSV file. And then I can click on this export option. So when I export, if you see uh, the file will be downloaded, that is contacts2.csv, contacts2 of CSV. So I'll just open it. I'll say as show in folder. This is the contacts2, that is the CSV file. And now what I'll do is I'll just cut it and paste on some other location. So first thing is I'll right click and I'll click on cut and I'll take to my folder that is MS Outlook 2016. I'll paste it here because all the files, whichever I'm doing, it will be pasted at this place context too. So what I'll do is now I'll go to the Outlook from Outlook. I'll import this file, which is in this folder MS Outlook 2016. Let us do that. So for that, I need to open the Outlook. The steps are keep your cursor at this location in this uh, training .tutorials point at gmail.com. You can go to the file open and export. There are a few options. Select the third option here, import and export. It says import from another program or file. By default, your cursor will be there itself. And then you can click on this next. Second, it says, is this a CSV file, comma separated file, or it's a Outlook uh, data file. So I'll select as comma separated values. Click on next. It says, which is the file you want to import? So I'll click on this browse. The location, if you remember, that is E drive. MS Outlook and the contacts too. I'll click on OK. So it says allow duplicates to be created. I'll say yes, yes. Click on next. Now it says where do you want to paste your contacts? I have basically two email IDs, Pavanlalwani at Hotmail and training.tutorials. So I'll just export at this location. So I'll just scroll it. Yeah, so this is the training.tutorials at gmail.com and uh, I'll just click on this contacts and I have a folder named as my contacts. So if you want, you can just directly paste into this my contacts and I'll click on next. Now it says, do you want to map the custom fields? I'll say I do not want to map it and I'll just click on this finish part. So it is importing three contacts. Remember there was John, Ronnie and Anthony. So what I'll do is now I'll go to my people's pane. It says my contacts, this computer only. If you see there's a Ronnie, John and Anthony. So if I click on this John, you see there's a John email ID and everything is given here on the right hand side. And if I click on this Ronnie and Anthony. So this three contacts have export, or you can say it's imported from Gmail and that has been pasted in this my contacts, this only, right? I hope you have understood how to import contacts from Gmail account to your Microsoft account. That's all for this video.